Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Sauce. It's the backup channel backing Celeb up and bringing you all the breaking news. Check this out. As you may or may not know, recently T.I. and Sine Harris accompanied their 19 year old son King down to Columbia to get a new set of teeth. And after he got those new teeth, he decided to show off his new Colgate smile on the internet. Check out your boy King. I had to come out here and get right, man. You know, shout out, shout out my uncle, Uncle Thug, diamonds and teeth. I had to come to somebody that could execute it, man. Mario, man, he did his thing, man. If y'all need y'all smile right, come here, man, cause I look good, you man, know? Man, be looking on his wife, got to his turn. Yep, love and respect. Well, after King flexed his fresh new set of pearly white veneers on social media, the trolls came a-coming and they congregated in his comments section because they had plenty to say about his new crispy white smile. One person said, quote, he remind me of a cartoon character, I'm just not sure which one, end quote. And then another person said, quote, he ain't stopped smiling since he got him, end quote. And then somebody else came through and said, quote, do you swear to tell the whole tooth and nothing but the tooth, so help you God, end quote. And then finally, somebody came through and said, quote, you're so young, why would you ruin your real teeth so early, end quote. Well, King wasn't too happy about the response that he was getting on his teeth, so he decided to fire back at the big teeth trolls to let them know that they don't have to fret because he has no intention of using his new smile to take any of the haters' girls. Check out what King had to say. Hey, I gotta make this video for the big teeth trolls, man. Hey, bro, listen, calm down, bro. Your bitch ain't going nowhere, bro. She gonna still be there. I don't want her. <laughs> Oh my goodness, every time I see King speak, after I cringe, I'm just reminded of the saying, youth is wasted on the young. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, King Harris can do whatever he wants with his little foul mouth. But if it was me, I wouldn't touch my teeth at the age of 19. Cause I think that like 19 is way too young to be messing with the structural integrity of your mouth. Unless like you got like a Kanye situation going and you're like in an accident where all of your teeth are knocked out. Or you got like a Cardi situation going. But if King was smart, King should have went to the same place that Cardi went to because Cardi got her teeth just right. Source, can you please post the before and after pictures of like Cardi's teeth? I mean the dentist who did that did right by Cardi. Listen, let me know what you think about King Harris going all the way down to Columbia to have the full set of veneers put on at the ripe young age of 19. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And while you're down there leaving a comment, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Now check it out. While we're talking about like looks and age and leaving well enough alone, Nicki Minaj decided to post a throwback video that shows how she looked 15 years ago. And under the video she wrote quote, 25 never looked better, no surgeries, no wigs, just a brand new Colgate smile. End quote. Well, after Nikki posted the video, the Bobs came through to celebrate their icon. One person said, quote, and she still looks like this, untouched face. End quote. And then another person said, quote, always natural, always beautiful, always perfect, always stunning. End quote. Listen, I know that you guys are waiting for me to say something smart, but I'm not. I'm like one of those females that like, if you deserve props, I'm gonna give you your props. And Nicki Minaj is actually a very attractive female. And not only that, I was looking at like pictures of her from like 2012 and like pictures of her now. And like Nicki seems to be getting more attractive over time. I mean, Nicki seems to have that Benjamin Button going on. So shout out to Nicki Minaj for doing it and doing it and doing it well for well over 40 years. Listen, let me know what you think about Nicki Minaj posting a throwback video of herself from like the young age of 25 and saying no surgery, no wigs. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Now check it out. As you all know, 50 Cent is certified platinum, but he's also a certified troll. And there are no boundaries to who 50 Cent will troll. So this time, 50 Cent is going after Busta Rhymes. Because 50 says somebody needs to tell Busta that his chain is way too big. Check this out. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50
<laughs> tell him the chain too big. Whoa, nigga. <laughs> tell that nigga the chain too big. He ain't got no friends. They're not telling him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 50 Cent is hilarious. But tell me something. Is 50 being a real friend by telling Busta that his chain is too big? I mean, I know that when you're younger, it's a status symbol for the chains to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But when you reach a certain point, are you supposed to start downsizing? Listen, let me know what you think about 50 Cent telling Busta that his chain is too big. Is 50 telling Busta the truth? Let me know what you think in the comments. But while we're talking about jokes, apparently Drake's father got jokes for days because he decided to like prank his son and send him a really, really, really big gift while he was performing on stage. Check out where Drake's father got him and check out Drake's reaction. Someone takes the cake right here. I Hey, what does it say? Uh, I can't read this out loud, actually. Sorry, I can't read this card out loud. It's nasty. Who's it? Who did this? This might be the end of a saga right here. This might be the end of the road. I don't know. I, I, if these were real, I don't even know if I want to see them, because then I believe that aliens exist. Oh, this is from my dad? <laughs> That's why all oh, the card says, Wish it, oh, this is from my father. My father made this for me. It says, Dad's wishing big things for you. I love you and making sure you are breastfed correctly. What's wrong with this man? This man is crazy. <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what to say about that. In case like the clip didn't play or like you didn't see it, Drake's father brought him like a gigantic bra that was like size triple X with a note that said, wishing you big things in the future, making sure that you're breastfed correctly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Listen, let me know what you think about the gift that Drake's father got for him. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, on a more serious note, as you know, Lahana Maui in Hawaii was devastated by a fire that basically incinerated the entire area. The fire killed over 100 residents and displaced thousands more. Well, now that the fires are out, emotions are heating up because residents want to know, one, how the fire started, and two, what could have been done to save more lives. During a recent press conference, residents wanted to know why no one sounded any alarms to warn residents that the blaze was coming so that they could at least have a fighting chance to evacuate and escape. In response to the question as to why no alarm sounded, Lahana officials said that they chose not to sound the alarms because they feared that the tsunami alarms would cause residents to run in the wrong direction. Check this out. Tonight, the number of victims from the burn zone keeps climbing. More than 100 dead and 1,000 still unaccounted for. As the head of Maui's emergency operations faces the public for the first time since the disaster. Do you regret not sounding the sirens? I, I do not. And the reason why, and so many people said they could have been saved. But when follow up questions were asked, this happened. As you the want, flames me, you want him heels. to give me the answer? Or I do, do you want but me? I want to I well, let, let him finish his I'm answer. I'm sorry, there's a lot of people. Well, you're talking who want and not letting him talk. If you want to talk, come up here. Even though the sirens are all hazard systems, Herman and Daya maintain they are primarily used for tsunamis. Had we sounded the siren that night, we're afraid that people would have gone Malka. And if that was the case, then they would have gone into the fire. The sense of frustration on Maui lingers just like the smoke. It's got to this point where it's like, who are these people watching us? Or do they even properly care for us? Listen, I don't know about you, but this right here made me really mad. Because my thing is this, if there's an emergency, you sound those alarms. And like, you let me decide which direction I'm going to run in after that. But what you don't do is not do nothing. Because there are so many people who like, went to sleep that night 
and never got up because they didn't even know that anything was going on. Listen, let me know what you think. Do you think that the Lahana officials were right for not sounding the alarms because they were scared that people would run in the wrong direction? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celebrity news. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.